Yo, what's up guys? Also here with another trade-off video. So this will be episode 6 of $1 to a knife. So as a short recap, we now have $31.94 from the last video. So with that out of the way, let's go to the first trade-up. So for the first trade-up, we will be doing a factory new mil spec revolver trade-up. So for this trade-up, we will be using 7 minimal wear revolver skins and 3 factory new breakout skins. So for the revolver skins, you can use the Yorick, the Outbreak, the Crimson Web, and the Imperial and you can get them for 33 cents each. And for the breakout skins, you can use the Labyrinth, the Urban Hazard, and the Desert Strike and you can get them for 21 cents each. So the average float for this trade-up must be less than 0 0.37 to get all factory new outcomes. So to achieve this, I recommend using minimal wear revolver skins with floats less than 0.09 and factory new breakout skins with floats less than 0.025. So the total cost of the trade-up will add up to $2.94 or €2.69. For the outcomes, all of the revolver skins except the XM Techno Burner will be a good profit. Then, the rest of the breakout skins will give you a $2 loss but you will only get them around 5.5% of the time, so that won't really matter. So the return of the trade-up will add up to 20.07% and you'll get 59 cents each time you do this trade-up. So next trade-up will be a factory new mil spec shadow trade-up. So for this trade-up, we will be using 7 minimal wear shadow skins and 3 factory new breakout skins. So for the shadow skins, you can use the Glock Rates, the Green Marine, the Scumbria and the Cobalt Core, and you can get them for 28 cents each. And for the breakout skins, you can again use the Labyrinth, the Desert Strike, and the Urban Hazard, and you can get them for 21 cents each. So the average float for this trade-up must be again be less than 0.07. So to achieve this, I recommend using minimal wear shadow skins with floats less than 0.09 and factory new breakout skins with floats less than 0.025. So the total cost of the trade-up will add up to $2.59 or €2.37. For the outcomes, you will have a 70% chance to get a shadow skin and a 30% chance to get a breakout skin. So just think of the shadow skins as a profit outcome and the breakout outcomes as losses. So the return of the trade-up will add up to 14.67% and you will get $0.38 cents each time you do this trade-up. So for the third trade-up, we will be doing an industrial grade inferno trade up. So for this trade up, we will be using 2 field tested inferno skins and 8 minimal wear safe house skins. So for the inferno skins, you can use the nitro, the cow skin, and the candy apple and you can get them for 23 cents each. And for the safe house skins, you can only use the blue steel and the night ops and you can get them for 7 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0 0.1166. So to achieve this, I recommend using field tested inferno skins with floats less than 0.22 and minimal wear safe house skins with floats less than 0.09. So the total cost of the trade-up will add up to $1.02 or €93. Eurocents. For the outcomes, you will only have a 25% chance to profit from this trade-up. But you will only lose around 20 to 40 cents if you don't hit the 25% profit. And if you do hit the 25% profit, you can get around $1 to $1.60 profit. So the return of the trade-up will add up to 8.82% and you'll get $0.09 cents each time you do this trade-up. So we will also be doing a non-stat track factory new Prisma 1 and Prisma 2 trade-up and also a stat track revolver and Prisma 2 trade-up. But I have already explained that in my previous video so if you want more details on those trade-ups, just make sure to check that one out. So with that out of the way, let's hop in game to try out these trade-ups. So here we are in game. As you can see, I have organized all of my trade-ups so it will be a lot easier to record them. So first trade-up, we will be doing an industrial grade inferno trade-up. And for this trade-up, we're hoping to get a check engine or a converter. But any of the inferno skins will be fine. So yeah, so first trade-up. Ooh, we got really lucky and hit the check engine. So that should be more than a $1 profit, so that is really nice. So the last video went pretty well, 
And hopefully, this video won't be remembered as the video where everything went wrong. So second trade up, let's hope to get an Inferno skin. Ooh, we got an SG Anodized Navy. But that should be a very low float, so I should at least get some overpay for that. But I will not be including that in the computations I have in the bottom left corner. So keep that in mind. So last trade up, let's hope to get an Inferno skin. Nice, we got another USB check engine. That should be another $1.50 profit, so this video is turning out to be pretty well. So the fourth trade up will be a shadow case trade up. So we almost put a uh, Inferno skin in there, so hopefully we don't mess things up. So as I was saying, fourth trade up will be a shadow case trade up, and for this trade up, we're hoping to get any of the shadow skins. But the best outcome will be the Stone Cold and the Wing Shot. So hopefully we get those. So we got an MP7 Special Delivery that should be a small profit, so I will take that. So for the 5th trade up, we will be doing a normal Factory New Revolver trade up. And for this trade up, we're hoping to get any of the Revolver skins except the XM Tech to Burner which will be a small loss. But the best outcome should be the Negev Power Loader and the SG Tiger Moth, so hopefully we get one of those. Nice, we got the Negev Power Loader. So that should be straight up a $3 profit, so that is really, really nice. So next trade up will be a after trade up. So the last trade up went pretty well. And hopefully, we get another Atheris in this trade-up, but that should be a little bit too optimistic. So first Atheris trade-up, let's see what we're going to get. Ooh, <laughs> we got another Atheris, so we were really lucky again. So <laughs> that was really nice. So next Prisma 1 trade-up, hopefully we get at least a Deagle Light Rail. So, Prismone trade-ups has always been really nice for me. So hopefully, we get a nice outcome again. So we got another profit outcome with the Deagle Light Rail. So, I will take that. So for the 8th trade-up, this will be the last non stat rack trade-up we have. So, hopefully we hit this. So this will be a factory new Prisma trade-up and we're hoping to get a Scout Fever Dream or an SG Darkwing. So we got a Danger Zone skin. That should be a small loss, so that should be fine. So on to the stat track trade ups. So for the first trade up, we will be doing a stat track minimal wear revolver trade up. And for this trade up, we're hoping to get any of the revolver skins. So. Yeah, the best outcome should be the Negev Power Loader and the SG Tiger Moth. So hopefully we get one of those skins. So first trade up, we got a Novokoi. But that should be in Factory New, so that shouldn't be that much of a loss. So that should be fine. So on to our second stat track trade up. This will be another stat track minimal wear revolver trade up, same as the last trade up. And hopefully we get a profit skin this time. So let's see what we're going to get. Okay, we finally got a revolver skin. So that is really nice. So that should be around a $1 to $2 profit. I'm not so sure about that. So yeah. So for the last trade up, this will be a Statrak Factory New Prisma 2 trade up. And we're hoping to get a SG Darkwing or a Scout Fever Dream. So let's see what we're going to get. So we got a Fever Dream, so that should be the second best outcome we could have gotten. So I will take that. So yeah. So I will be back to compute the profits or losses we got in this video. So be right back. So for the total profit for this video, we got a profit of $20.38. So adding that to our starting money of $31.94, we 
we now have a running total of $52.32 after this video. So if you would like to see the top 5 trade-ups in 2020, make sure to check out this video. Otherwise, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to check out my Discord server, link in the description. Anyway, that is all for today. This is Alsu and peace out.